2 Peter chapter 2, verses 18 through 22. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh. Through much wantonness, those that were clean escape from those that live in error. While they promised them liberty, they promised themselves, are the, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome of the same he is brought in bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcame. The latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it have been better for them to have not known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened to them, according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again. And the so that was washed was washed to her wallowing in the mirror. Basically, a sin that we can't turn from. And it's very obvious what the Lord's saying here. That it's better that we didn't even know the truth. And there's a lot of people that claim to be of God and claim to be a follower of Christ, but they're not even trying to get out of the sin. They're not even, there's no transformation. There's no renewing of the mind or the spirit. And there's people, you know, it's better that they didn't even know the truth. Fear the Lord, family. Fear the Lord. Don't fear man. Don't fear woman. Don't fear government. Don't fear any of those things. Fear the Most High God. And what He expects of us, family. I mean, He he doesn't expect us to stay the same and to continue in habitual sin and just pull out that grace once saved, always saved card once, you know, we feel like someone's trying to judge us or convict us of something that we need to be convicted of. The Lord has a way of sending, whether it be through a study, through through your church, through someone you know, if you're in error, he's going to let you know that so you don't perish in your error. It's very, very apparent here that he's saying these people speak with great words, but their words are vanity. They're nothing. They're useless. Their religion is worthless. Have the discernment family to discern that there are a lot of people out here that are not what they claim to be. Pray for them that they can come to the knowledge of the truth, and then they will come to repentance, be baptized in spirit and in truth. There's a lot of people perishing that in their heads, like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they just think they're saved, you know, they're saved by works, or they're just, they don't have to do anything. They can continue to live in sin, and they're fine. Family, God is the same yesterday, to today, and forever. He does not change, and he is a just and holy God, and of course, he's a loving, merciful God. But he will not be mocked, and he is not stupid. He knows the ways of our heart. He knows our intentions. You cannot fool him. You may be able to fool man. You may be able to get online and use fake AI pictures as your profile picture to fool the world. But God knows what you look like. He knows what your heart looks like. So it's better that we not even know the truth. That's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God family.